Universal de Sacramento. Eh, bendiciones, bendiciones. ¿Cómo me siento? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchísimas gracias. Now I know that you guys, uh, that I just asked you to sit down, but I'll tell you what, we're going to start with something a little bit unique, a little bit different. Everybody stand up for a second. Stand up for a second. Open up your hands like this, and on the count of three, clasp your hands together and keep them clasped together. One, two, three, go! Now, a recent university study of over 10,000 people found there are only two possibilities. Right thumb is over left, left is over right, or thumbs are side by side. Who's right over left? Right over left. Those are the expressives, the drivers, they're the ones like being, like being in charge of their relationships and their companies. They're the ones that like to be the box. Show, show me side by side. Who's done side by side? Yeah, very few of those. Very analytical, very conservative, hard to change sometimes, and they sometimes respond to, to change with some pushback. Now show me left over right. Who's left over right? So those are the ones that think they're sexy. <laughs> Open up, your, open up your hands again, and if you did right over left, you left over right. If you did left over right, you right over left. Ready? One, two, three. Don't, don't hurt yourself. How does that feel? Uncomfortable? Wrong? New? Well, what finger are you pointing at? Tranquila. This is a family show. Come on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Take a seat. Take a seat. I see a lot of familiar faces, and it's great to be here today. And I... Hey, I want to say, I have been looking so much forward to coming to Sacramento and finally getting to meet some of my Facebook friends that I, I chat with you, we communicate, we are, see each other in other events all across the nation, but it's only now that I make it here to beautiful Sacramento, California. Give yourselves a round of applause for that. Tremendo. Neil, thank you so much for the beautiful introduction. And I just want to say that um, today I'm going to wear a different hat. Today, I'm going to take off the, the 53 million and one half. You'll see that later on. You'll see the story. And, where, and within 53 million and one, I'm going to take you inside the Hispanic American experience by giving you the story of one Latino. That's only one story out of 53 million stories that are out there. You all have a story. Uh, today, right behind the scenes, I had the opportunity to listen to Gil's story. Very interesting, fascinating story on how, as he said, he ended up... Um, with only one language, with only being an English speaker. So let me clarify that first. For Narek, do you need to be brown like me and roll your R's and be able to say, suelta la chalupa, to be a part of Narek? Everybody say, no! We want everyone. We need everyone. Anyone that has a little place in their heart to be able to, to serve the Hispanic community to achieve the American dream, we need you at NARC. So what does that mean? That means whether you're a broker, how many brokers in the room? Brokers, okay? Whether you're an agent, how many agents in the room? Okay? Whether you're a loan professional, how many loan professionals in the room? From mortgage finance, beautiful. How many closing agents, escrow officers, or title? Okay? How many insurance people in the room? Whether it's you, 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 whether you inspect it, whether you repair it, whether you fumigate it, whether you sell it, whether you fund it, we need you here at NARA. So as, as Gil said, if you're not uh, a member yet, then make that decision and become a member today. Are you with me on that, Sacramento? Come on, show me some love for that. Yeah. But now, once I get into 53 million and one, I'm not going to talk to you about listing and selling and all this kind of stuff. But Gil said, well, you know what, Jerry, this is also a business rally. This is also a networking opportunity. This is also where people want to know how to advance their business. And the one thing that you'll hear is that when I got into real estate, I knew nothing about what I was doing. I mean, I was so confused. I remember the very first transaction that I remember getting a, a call from the selling agent. And by the way, I understand that Northern California and Southern California did things differently regarding termite. But back then... You know what? The seller did the termite all the time, no exception, Southern California. So they call me up, ring, ring, we're getting ready to close of escrow, and the selling agent says, hey, Jerry, where's the termite report and the termite clearance? And I said, what do you mean? You haven't ordered it yet? And she just stayed really quiet. I think if this guy doesn't know anything about real estate. And why is that? Because I didn't have a NAREP chapter. 
I didn't have a Marshall Carrasco sitting up here and sharing how to get those trade secrets that'll take you from wherever you are. 10 transactions to 20 transactions, 20 transactions to 50 transactions, 50 transactions to 100 transactions. We didn't have that. We needed to figure it out all by ourselves. I'm talking about 25 years ago. See, NARIC is only a 15-year-old organization. We're lucky, we're blessed that two people, Gary and Ernie, put this whole thing together to be able to empower other people that want to become part of our familia. Not because of the color of your skin, not because you can roll the R's, but because you want to see other Hispanic families embrace that opportunity and be able to achieve the American dream. Are you with me on that? Come on, Sacramento. Go ahead. But I'll say this. But I'll say this. I went from uh, making minimum wage, and you'll hear that during the story at 53 million and one, to in my second year of real estate making $150,000 in income. For a young kid at 21 years old, that's a lot of money. And when sales prices were only 120, 125,000. And then from there, when I sold real estate full time, and that's the only focus that I did, my best, best year at $1,100,000 in gross commission, just myself. So yeah, yeah, how about that? Yeah. So would it be valuable for you that you learn just a few things that I maybe did during that time that helped me go from zero to 150 to 1.1 million dollars in a very short period of time? If you're interested, say yes. Yes. Okay. So we'll get to doing some of that. Here's what I want to tell you. Here's what I want to tell you. Number one. Number one. I think that in re in real estate, you need to get involved. You cannot be a secret agent. So who should know that you're in the real estate business? Everybody. Everybody. And who is that? People at your church, people at the PTA, the PTO, at your kids' uh, you know, school. Everywhere you go, you must live, sleep, think, real estate each and every day. And how do you do that? How do you do that? Give me some ideas. Talk to people. Talk to people. Wear your name badge. Well, you're not always dressed up in a two-piece, three-piece suit. How else can you do that? Knocking doors, wearing a cap that has your name, going to the gym and saying, ask me about real estate, putting it all over. I, was, I, told, I tell a story once, people are kind of blown away by it. I was actually performing because I was a musician and a performer, and I was performing on a horse when another horse came over and had an incident with my horse. I ended up being thrown against the saddle and, and, and opening up a huge gash inside my mouth. So my lip just kind of cut like in, in two pieces. But of course, as a macho Mexicano, what did I do? Jumped off the horse, you know, took two gulps of tequila, spit it out, and I finished my song. And then once I did that, then I was rushed to the hospital. <laughs> so when I was rushed to the hospital, I remember having my lip like this, and they put me in there, they were going to do the sutures, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, the, and, the, and the nurse, it was a male nurse that looks at my t-shirt and says, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Aren't you the guy on the t-shirt? And I heard, uh, 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 oh, no, 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 Well, you know what? My wife and I are going to sell our piece of real estate. And he starts going into my mouth and tying it up like this. Do you think that you can help us? Oh, no, 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 It was at Kaiser Permanente Hospital in Panorama City. Long story short, I ended up taking that listing and double ending it. And it was a divorce situation. I, I made friends with him, not with her, but I ended up selling him another house. So I got three real estate transactions after being smacked by another horse and opening it my lip right in the middle of a performance. Is that good stuff or what? Bravo. So business and opportunity are everywhere. But you know what? How many people here want to have a better next year than you had this year? Raise your hand. Okay, so let me tell you a little secret. In order for next year to be better than this year, Waldo, everybody else here, then you need to change something in the ingredient list of what you put this year. You see, in life and in real estate and in business, the only one constant in life is what? Change. Change. The only one constant is change. And I'm going to recommend that you read a little book. As I told Gilbert, I'm going to give them little tangible ideas, little golden nuggets that they can walk away with, that they can implement in su negocio, in su oficina, back in their businesses. So I'm going to give you a little to read. Read this one. Here we go. Who moved my cheese? Y para los que hablan español, ¿quién se ha llevado mi queso? Dr. Spencer Johnson. 
En español el autor, Dr. Spencer Johnson. Es lo mismo, ¿ok? So go ahead and read that and read it for the first time. Why? Because next year you need to do changes in your business that are going to take you to the next level. So you don't come here to Nara just to see the whole song and dance and the dog and pony show. No, you come here to Nara to be able to listen to some powerful panelists that can show you maybe what you're missing and how to take it to the next level and how to make the kind of money that you always dreamed of. During 53 million and one, one of the things I say is there's no better business than real estate. It doesn't cost you much to get in and you can make as much as you're willing to work for. And that is absolutely true. Because the very best year as a blue collar worker, I made $17,500. That's it. $17,500 after 52 weeks of labor. And the second year in real estate, $150,000. Big difference. Why? Because you choose to change. Because you choose to run your own business. How many people here are okay with making some changes for next year? Say up. Hi. Okay, so if you're willing to make some changes for next year, here are some of the things that I'm going to give you. Write this one down. Number one, get involved. Get involved. Get involved and serve. It does, you know, it, it, Waldo and Gil and everybody else, Monty, everyone else that's on the board, Nance and everyone else, they, don't, they didn't get there by chance. They had to go in there and raise their hand. They had to say, how about me? How about me? Because when you get involved, when you serve, there's a universal law that kicks in. I don't, I don't know what belief you are, and I'm not going to be, this is very non-denominational, but I'll tell you what, God will never be outdone in generosity. What does that mean? That if you're generous with your time and your talent and your gifts, guess what? God is going to give you mass, more. And if you give more, what is he going to give you? More. So learn that, and next year, in the, in the year 2016, learn to serve more. And as you learn to serve more, you will learn how to earn more. Why? Because your success is a direct relationship of how many people you have served and how many people you have helped achieve whatever it is that they want. There is a direct relationship. If you have 10 families that you've helped, you're probably making $100,000. But if you have 50 families that you've helped, now you're closer to the four and five hundred thousand dollars in income. So there's something that is very, very directly related back to you. Here's the second thing. This is something that I learned in 53 million and one. I say I met my second and most significant life mentor, Mr. Garrett with Gary Acosta. So some people have asked me, who was your first life mentor? I'll, I'll, I'll introduce you to him right now. His name was James Earl Rowe. Jim Rohn. And Jim Rohn taught me my business philosophy, the business philosophy with which I work today. And he taught me this very unique philosophy. I'll give it to you right now. Write it down if you're a good note taker. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job or business. Work harder on yourself. So what does that mean? That means show up to NARA. That means pay attention when the panelists come up here. That means take copious notes. That means take photographs. That means work the room. That means network with other people. Work harder on yourself. Make sure that yourself is good. And once yourself is good, everything else is going to go there. Why? Because you're going to discover the power of the we versus the power of the I. And that is the mastermind, the power of the mastermind. Who here in this room has already read Think and Grow Rich? By who? Napoleon Hill. What is chapter number 10 about? Chapter number 10. Chapter number 10 is the power of the mastermind. And what it says is that when more than one individuals of like-minded individuals get together, the power that, they, that comes out of that is huge. It's tremendous. That's what NARIP is all about. Getting like-minded individuals, putting them side by side, making them connect, and guess what? They're going to come out here and they're going to pour their hearts out. They're going to give you all their trade secrets. But it doesn't make them any less. It makes them any more. And then they continue to grow more. And next year they will probably outdo whatever production they did this year. Why? Because when you give, there's the law of reciprocity where it's all going to come back to you. So, um, Gilbert said, well, why don't you give them some tangible things 
that you actually used when you sold real estate seven days a week, 24 hours a day. So sure, I'll do that. I'll give you some right now. Here's number one. Here's number one. Serve unconditionally. So in my business, whether you want the translation, whether you want the text analysis, whether you want the notarization, whether you're totally confused as to you know what kind of mortgage you're in, whether you want to consider buying something, whatever you need, I have an open door policy at my office. I welcome you to do the same. Because if you serve unconditionally, those people will refer you and refer you and refer you more and more people. Well, the most wonderful thing about the Hispanic constituent, the Hispanic consumer, is that it's a multi-transactional consumer. To some families, I've done over 12 transactions in the same family. Hmm? That's, not, that's not a client, that's an account, okay? Or they're multi-trend, multi-generational. So I sold grandma's house, I sold the parents' home, and now I'm selling the kids that are just now coming out of college, etc., etc. their problem, their first problem. So with clients, with Latino, Hispanic clients, it's all about multi-transactional, and it's also about multi-generational. Make sure that you're there. So you want to serve unconditionally. Number two, you want to expand the tent. Now, how many people here have an assistant? One assistant, okay? How about two assistants? Five assistants. Five assistants. Okay, how many people here have 175 assistants? Okay, this is, this is where I am. I have 175 assistants. Well, how's that, Jerry? I have a database that I have cultivated, that I've cultivated over the last 25 years, and all my people are categorized. They're categorized at A plus A, B, C, and D. A pluses, I have 175 of those. Those are people that have sent me multiple <coughs> referrals over the last 25 years. So guys, that's a golden nugget. Take that idea back. And well, let me see a show of hands. How many of you truly have an organized database of clients? Organized database of clients. How many people in your database? Right there, how many? Uh, about 175. Okay, you know how many people are in my database? 5,000 people in my database over 25 years. But of the 5,000, only 175 of them are A pluses. Go back after this, this, this uh, whole event, etc., etc., and reevaluate everyone that's in your database. Should they even be there? If they shouldn't be there, get them out. And if they should be there, categorize them. That's why you only have 475. There you go. That's why you only have 475. So, and then within those 475, you need to categorize them. A pluses, somebody that's done multiple transactions. A's, a step below that. B's would probably do business with you in the future. C's, maybe yes, maybe no. Everything below C is pretty much garbage. It, it probably doesn't even need to be there at all. So that would be the, the second thing, to go ahead and do the databases. Here's number three. Write this down. 120 minutes. What does that mean? That's how long you should prospect per day, at least. Do income producing activities 120 minutes a day. When you do that, your, your production will just skyrocket. Well, Jerry, if there's eight hours in a day, why would I only work 120 minutes? Trust me, most people work less than 120 minutes. Do 120 minutes of prospecting a day, real hard prospecting a day, your production is going to increase. Number next, accountability. Have a team partner, have your spouse, have a NARA partner, be your accountability partner. Call them, report to them, have them report to you to see where your production is going. Number next, stay connected and be visible. For example, we have a 15-foot moving van that says, are you moving? And the whole van is painted like a big cow. We call it La Vaca. So anywhere it goes, it's a walking billboard for us, for our company, for our services. It's everything there that we do. At the end of the day, they say, how do I get to use La Vaca? Very easy. Buy with me, list with me, buy with us, list with us. Very simple. High, high visibility. And then finally, I'll just tell you this. Do all your research, guys. The economic power of the Latino market is second to none. Right now, we are at a purchasing power of $1.5 trillion. That is the equivalent of more than most economies for most countries, except 15 countries in the entire world. It is the equivalent of the entire purchasing power of the country of Canada in the Latino market, 1.5 
trillion dollars. Give yourself some love for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when you think about what's in it for you, when you think about why you're here, when you think about why you're listening to these panelists, go back and think about those kind of numbers. $1.5 trillion in purchasing power. 40% or better of all the first-time home buyers are going to come from the Hispanic space. Do your research. Do your study. If you haven't done it, read the State of Hispanic Home Ownership Report. Get caught up on the stats so that you know why you're sitting in those chairs. And then, you know what? A year from now, call me up. Look me up on Facebook. Look me up on YouTube, wherever you find me. And then tell me your story. Because I know that you have a story. And you're going to say, you know what, Jerry, what you told us in Sacramento, I use three of those things, two of those things, one of those things. And this is how much money it has made me in the year 2016. I'm going to come back with a 53 million and one completely uniquely different presentation to this which I'm sharing with you right now. But I wanted to make sure that if I'm here in Sacramento, California, that I can tell you what I would have loved back in 1990, back in 1989, when I got into the business. And that would be that somebody with two plus decades of experience would take me into the ring and say, hey, muchacho, do it this way. Do this, do that, and that will equal success for you. Good stuff, Sacramento! All right!